in my younger days when I was powerlifting competitively, the squat was always way better than my deadlift. That has swapped. Today my deadlift is way better than my squat. And I think the problem is I'm just um, a little scared of getting to depth. And I've been working on how to get there comfortably and be able to be able to drive back out of it because I think I have the strength to be doing a lot more weight than I'm using now I'm just having a problem with with the eccentric getting to the bottom hey gang welcome back to Mark 60 plus fitness journey okay first off I sound like I have a cold. I did have a cold. I'm 99% back. I sound worse than I feel. I feel pretty good. And to that point, I actually had a uh, squat session today. My workout partner, Howard, and I had a squat session. And it was just going to be a regular run the mill squat session. I wasn't going to carry a camera with me. And I didn't, actually. But what I've been doing lately is using my phone to just record my squat depth and I've been doing that the last two or three sessions so today when I got home I wanted to compare um, my squat session today to the one the previous one seven days ago so that's what I did and my goal today was to squat deeper and I felt I squat squatted deeper so let's look at the film to see if indeed I did squat deeper let's check this out real quick Okay, so let's do a little comparison here. On the left is today's squat session, February 29th, leap year. And on the right is last week's session. And again, my goal was to squat deeper today than um, last week, because I last week I just felt I was a little high. And then today during the session, I felt like I was going deeper. And looking at this, um, I think, I was squatting deeper. It's hard to see a whole definitive <laughs> three or four inches more depth, but I did. I did. Uh, I think today on the left is a squat, a deeper squat than the one on the right. Um, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. But I think I am going to focus on getting a little bit deeper yet on my next squat session. And uh, what I want to do is just give you a little. Um, graphic overview of what I'm talking about here. All right, let's look at this squat depth a little bit more closely using our graphic here. I've got two lines here. This green one is the top of my thigh. This red one is the top of my knee. I've heard two different, at least, viewpoints on what reference point we use for squat depth. Top of thigh, top of knee. I think the general consensus is top of knee. Now, I've also heard a couple of viewpoints on what point do we reference this top of knee, for example, to. Is it the crease of the hip here or the actual hip bone? Again, I think the common consensus is the crease of the hip. So if we go by the top of knee reference point to the crease of the hip, I am just at proper squat depth. Now, to take any guesswork out of this, henceforth and going forward, I am going to lower my squat depth by at least an inch and make sure that I have this dot here a little bit lower henceforth making sure my squat depth is correct when I attempt my actual strength squat goal for the year of 350 pounds. Now the ultimate goal here is to meet one of three strength goals I've set for myself to meet by the end of this year, 2024. Um, the first is a legit 300 pound bench press. The second is a legit 450 pound deadlift pull. And the third is a legit competition, legit 350 pound squat. Now the deadlift and the bench press, making good progress on, feel good about those. I'm probably gonna meet the deadlift goal by the end of the middle of the summer, probably. Now, with squat, is a different beast. In my younger days when I was powerlifting competitively, the squat was always way better than my deadlift. That has swapped. Today my deadlift is way better than my squat. 
and I think the problem is I'm just um, a little scared of getting to depth and I've been working on how to get there comfortably and be able to be able to drive back out of it because I think I have the strength to be doing a lot more weight than I'm using now I'm just having a problem with with the eccentric getting to the bottom and today I felt something that or rediscovered something that I, I knew I guess I just forgotten if I squat faster move faster to the bottom and make that bottom deep enough so that I actually have the hamstring the back of my thigh resting against my calf not completely resting but it's in a more comfortable position the deeper I go the more I get into that hamstring on calf position the more comfortable I am down there and the more force and the more ready I am to drive out of the bottom if that makes sense at least that's the way it is for me so um, today that was a good discovery um, deeper quicker to a little bit more comfortable position with the hamstring on the calf on the calf muscle driving up and identifying what I'm going to use as my proper squat depth which is going to be top of my knee and the crease of my hip which I think is the more the more demanding of the two I think if I use the top of the thigh as you saw earlier in the hip bone that's a little easier to get to so I'm just going to make sure I'm in the safe zone use the top of my knee and the crease of my hip there but um, let me know what you think. I'm, what, what is your opinion on what is the actual proper squat depth, the approved squat depth? Um, be curious to hear about that. But anyway, just having fun here. None of this stuff is going to change the world. Just having a good time and uh, moving along with it. And thank you for being here. As always, sincerely appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe too. We'd love to have you here. Hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost anything. Not selling you anything. Just come and join us. It's all fun. And I guess with that, I'll say, till next time, go get them. Mark out.